All right, let's see if Farmin Sim 19 can break my $5,000 gaming PC. This brand new PC has the GeForce RTX 3090 with 128 gigs of RAM and a 16 core liquid cooled processor. So let's see what we can do to break this $5,000 gaming PC. Hey guys, real quick before today's video, if you want to take advantage of the merge sale, which ends December 14th, then go to theformalpickle.com, click on to the merge deal. Make sure you go to Christmas promo, any one of these that are the Christmas promo and use code SANTA10 at checkout to get 10% off of your order. Again, this ends December 14th. So if you are interested in getting Christmas promo merch, then uh, make sure you hurry up and do so. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. Over 75% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you want to help a pickle out, then click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We're trying to beat Austin Farmer to 100,000 subscribers. So click that little subscribe button and join the Pickle Jar community. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, well, first of all, we have uh, 800 plus mods in, oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. I think we already broke it. Okay, we have 800 plus mods installed into this game right now. That alone should be enough to destroy almost any PC. But we're going to take it a step farther. We're going to go into the options and I'll be honest, I don't know what most of this does, but we're going to make it the biggest number we can because I feel like the bigger the number, the more taxing it's going to be on the PC. As you guys can see, as is right now on the main menu, we're only using 5% of the CPU, 7% of the memory, and actually 42-ish, 45-ish percent of the GPU, which is kind of surprising. Of course, OBS is using the majority of that, so we can't really blame Giants for that one. All right, as you can see, we've upped everything to their absolute max value. Now I think we're good to go and try and get into a game. So we're going to load into one of the most demanding maps that I know of, Georgetown, New York. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We got we to gotta rename ourselves here let's see what do we name us uh ah uh, yes that seems appropriate and normally i would go through here and remove any mods that are going to cause conflict but i think we're going to leave every single mod in here even the ones that i know are going to cause conflicts with each other just to see how bad we can break this all right we're loading into the game let's see what happens oh boy nice to know that the load times haven't gotten any better even when you have a five thousand dollar pc it's taking abnormally long to load in Perhaps I should have removed the mods that I know will cause a conflict and not let the game launch properly. I, uh, I couldn't get the game to launch, so we're going to remove those mods that do cause conflicts. We'll be right back. Well, we're off to a bad start. I just spent 25 minutes trying to load into the game, and I can't. I can't load it in the game. Now, to be fair, to be fair, this PC has never even run Farming Sim without a mod, and I'm trying to throw it right into the deep end and be like, hey, you want to run 900 mods? So I think to be fair, we're going to launch the game without mods, then load the mods into the save game and hope we can get in. If not, then I guess, <laughs> then I guess we did break my $5,000 game in PC with Farm and Sim. Who would have thunk it? Not I. I honestly never thought that that would be the case. Oh, well that worked right away. So there was a mod issue that one of the... Well, it's probably a lot of mod issues. How are we loaded into game and getting less than 60 FPS without any mods? This is just the map. It's just literally I was playing Cyberpunk 2077 on this PC last night and had beyond 60 FPS. I can't get 60 FPS on farming sim? What? Although I gotta say, things look fan freaking fantastic, dude. The draw distance, like everything maxed out to absolute max, and you can see so freaking far. Things look amazing, but at, at, at the same token, I'm not even running any mods yet, and I feel like we're uh we're we're at a bit of a struggle. Oh gosh, we're down to 28, 30. What? What? You guys aren't seeing this, but I'm watching the frame rate, and we're at 30, 40. What is this? 33. I'm seeing a 33 FPS right now. Does somebody want to explain to me what's happening? All right, so we're only using 10% of the CPU, 8% of the memory, and 44% of the GPU. So if anything, this is just poor optimization on the game's end. Although to be fair, we're running an AMD processor, which is better for multitasking and work and stuff other than playing farming sim. Farming sim's built on Intel, so... I suppose perhaps that's an issue, but come on, I got 16 cores. Well, we at least got in the game and I got to admit it's looking fantastic. Like it looks even better than usual. So I think what we'll do is try to load in some of the mods and we'll slowly step our way up. So don't mind me while I quite literally end myself as I named it because oh, I don't want to. Oh my God, I'm going to have to take down the game and bring it back up and take it down and bring it back up so many times. I don't want to do that. <sighs> All right, all we gotta do is uh, name this end me. 
and save it. Let's start the cycle over again. Let's add some more mods and see how horrible we can make this. All right, upon further investigation, we found out that uh, even though I have VSync turned off in the menu, it was still forcing itself to stay on, which is why we're hovering around 60 FPS. So I enabled dev control and we can now disable VSync, but we're gonna try loading in here with at least some mods now. And by some mods, I mean literally every single one. You are not gonna believe this. My PC just crashed. It just crashed. Are you kidding me? I w look, I built a PC three years ago, has a 1080 in it, 32 gigs of RAM, and is, is honestly nothing special. It has a four core processor. I have a $5,000 PC now with literally all the top of the line parts. You cannot get better parts and it, it crashes? I'm kind of livid, not gonna lie to you. Okay, we're back in game. I just unlocked VSync, so now we can use the full potential of my computer. It's not trying to limit it anymore. And we are running a thousand FPS right now. We're running a thousand FPS. I swear to you, if I can't get into the game on a $5,000 PC, I am going to be livid. I'm already livid. Let's try this again. I was literally just selecting mods and it crashed, dude. It freaking crashed. Are you kidding me? All right, forget forget all the other games that people use to benchmark their PCs and determine like if it's if it's if it's going to be able to perform and do stuff. Nah, dude, just try and launch Farming Sim with with almost a thousand mods and you will find out if your PC's freaking worth it, dude. We're down to 20 FPS right now trying to load into the game. I'm not going to lie to you. When I, when we started this, I didn't think it was going to be possible to break the PC. I was like Dude, if my old PC can run a thousand mod six FPS, nice. If my old PC can run mo and can run farming sim, no problem at all. Or I shouldn't say no problem, but it freaking launches it at least. Then this PC should. No, apparently not. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, uh, fine. At least let me load in one mod, please. All right, fine, I give up. I've lowered my expectations. Just let me load in one mod. That's all I request, one, just one. The most important mod in all of Farming Simulator, the 2019 Toyota Prius Towing Edition. I swear if this doesn't load, if this doesn't load, I'm returning every single part in this freaking computer. I'm disassembling it and returning it all. Oh, congratulations, game. You were able to launch the game with one mod installed. So proud of you. What kind of supercomputer does it take to run this game at max settings? 4 FPS. 20 FPS. 2 FPS. 6 FPS. What is this? All right, well, we're running a solid 30 FPS almost. Let's see if we can break the computer more. Look, we've already broke it, but let's, let's see how horrible we can get it. So you guys already know what we're going to do, the tried and true method. We're going to take a massive cultivator. We're going to go out in the field with the Prius, actually a bunch of them, and we're going to we're gonna make this computer hate the fact that it ever existed. Oh, Prius, please, please, turn, turn, no. Aww. This video should just be called Jake slowly lowers his expectations and loses his sanity. All right, look, look, I'll, I'll, I'll ask for even less of you. Let's, let's do something a little lighter. 240 horsepower. Surely you can do that one, right, Prius? Oh, kill me. All right, fine, Prius. I see how it is. I can't even connect to this, but we're going to. Okay, so we at least have a plow now. I mean, I gotta say, the game looks beautiful in these settings, but the 30 FPS is kind of, you know, making me want to end my own existence. Oh, good, 20. Yes, yes, frame skippage. That's what I like to see. Come on, baby, make it worse. All right, well, you guys already know what's gonna happen. We're gonna line this dude up and we're gonna hire him and he's gonna go plow this field. And then we're gonna get eight more and we're gonna see just how much I can make this computer d want to not exist. Oh, hey, I lied. I had to re-unlock the FPS. Now we're running at 102. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. back down to 44. Okay, whatever. All right, hire a worker and get to work, boy. Wow, that guy's already coming back. We gotta hurry up. All right, we have two Prius running in a field, plowing it up. Let's see if we can get up to three Prius plowing a field. All right, Prius number four in route. Wow, what a dick. You're not, why is everyone blocked? You all, you all seriously didn't get past kindergarten, did you? How is everyone blocked by a freaking object? Oh my God. I swear to God, they're blocked. They blocked each other again. It's so hard to find quality help these days. Move it. Move it, bozo. You're in my way and you're making me mad. I oh, know I got these two interlocked to each other like they're star-crossed lovers. Come on. 
I give up. This bozo got me stuck. Them bozos down there got themselves stuck. I quit. I quit, dude. Long story short, yes, Farming Sim broke my $5,000 game in PC, and I ain't the happiest camper about it. <sighs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop a like for the fact that <sighs> this PC sucks, or Farming Sim needs optimized one or the other. Either way, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. I can't even walk, and I get the frame stutters when I walk. <laughs> Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching, kissing.